So I wanted to give a quick update because I'm starting to see people who followed my video and bought a Fabricator Mini version 1.5. This is the original 1.0. They're starting to get them in unboxing. I saw that uh, Angus at Maker Muse got his, unboxed his, and several other people have told me they've gotten theirs in the mail. So they're, they're arriving pretty quick. But I'm already seeing some of the questions that I've already answered. So there's a playlist, I'll put a link right up here, of all the videos I made that'll probably answer most of your questions to help you get started. One of the things is, yes, you can add the uh, display with SD card. So you can control it without a computer connected. I got a video that shows you how to do that. Another thing, the blue tape that comes with it. Pitch it. It's really not worth it. It's a pain in the butt. Get some build tack. I got some build tack material, got a big 10 by 10 sheet. You can cut it into nine different sections, give you nine little build tack sheets for your Fabricator Mini. And what that allows is you can print ABS. People say, can it print ABS? Yes, it can print ABS. You print with a raft so it sticks better, but the build tack helps it stick as well. I print a lot of stuff in ABS. All the leftover Da Vinci cartridges, I, all of them end up with material left. I use them on the Fabricator Mini. So it's a great little printer. It does come with feet now. I built a platform for it because you want to lift it up to get some air underneath it. But now they've got heat sinks on the drivers. The older ones didn't have it. So you're probably better off with the newer one. And other than that, have fun. I think you're going to love this little printer. And if you're looking for any support files, when you do the LCD or SD card edition, You'll need the firmware. It's not the same as Tiny Boy. Do not try to load the Tiny Boy firmware into this thing. You need the Fabricator Mini time, uh, firmware. I got it on my website, lproducts.com. There's a page there, and there's a link in this video. There's also some files for Simplify 3D, some settings for Cura that I run through uh, Repetier, and also for uh, Slicer that I run through Repetier. I most do almost do everything through Simplify 3D now on this and it just prints beautifully. So all the information is there if you guys want to check it out. Just want to give you these tips to get you started with your Fabricator Mini. One more thing, I want to give a special shout out to Joel Telling, the 3D printing nerd. He mentioned my YouTube channel in his latest video where he's giving away a Wanho Duplicator i3. That's right, he's giving away a 3D printer because he hit 10,000 subscribers. Part of his contest was you get extra chances if you subscribe to my channel and I've gotten like 1500 and more new subscribers to the channel so everyone that's new welcome I uh, hope you enjoy the channel and good luck with the with the uh, contest but I just want to say thanks to Joel that was a uh, really a nice thing to do so that's it that's all I got for now I hope you enjoyed this brief little video and I'll see you tomorrow on Filament Friday